Hello Mondeo fans and welcome back to the channel. So I've gone ahead and rushed uh, ahead a little bit, skipped out a couple of steps that you guys didn't see. So I'm just going to bring you in and catch you up on what I've done. The first thing I did was I decided to tidy up the upper crash wall structure. So I've painted all of that and realigned it so it's looking much better. The next thing I did was to take advantage of the newly opened up area, I've decided to um, put a bit more ventilation in my uh, in my grill. So I think this is going to be a bit more amount, like whether some people are going to like it, some people aren't, but this was a Mars the best use of space, so let's go and have a quick look at what i got going on. And here is the modified front bumper, so as you can see, filled it full of holes here and I've put some mesh in behind it just to uh, finish it off I decided to leave these open and I'm going to use just the standard grill in the bottom for now at least um, the reason why I've done this and put these all the way down the bottom is because I put my number plate up in a couple of places to that side to that side down on the bottom you know like a jap style none of it quite looked right so what I've just sticking it about the best place I found was just a little bit further up than usual so usually it would be there um, and I'm looking to put it like there so it won't actually cover any of the top grill or anything um, I think it should look okay and that uh, the added holes I think I should get a load more air in there. So um, I think the next thing you're gonna guys are gonna see is once this is properly dry, properly cured, we'll get it back on the car and go for a bit of a drive. Okay guys, so to catch up here, unfortunately I didn't video much because rain, but um, it's all done, it's all back together. Let's bring in for a little bit of a look. So move the number plate up a bit so I can get some air under there and air through these new holes and then we can see in there so the intercooler comes up to about there so what I will probably do is make some fins um, to direct the air the side um, but yeah I'm a bit undecided at the moment but that's it that's the idea I think it looks I think it matches it quite well to be honest I think that looks okay <laughs> Join me in the car. Um, seems to be driving just as fine. It's a beautiful day out in southern England. Sun shining, couple of clouds in the sky. What I really need to do is do some logs on this and compare the intake air temperatures of the old intercooler to the new one. Um, but I think this one will be doing a lot better. Um, yeah, it's driving fine. Boosting. Driving as it should. So, wind up that window. I think I'm going to call it here. Um, nice short episode again. The reason for the short episodes is I'm kind of scratching the bottom of the barrel here for things to do um, before I just chuck it all in and go big turbo. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to gather all the parts together and just hit it in one big go rather than take forever like I did with the uh, all wheel drive build. Um, this is a bit different, I've got a path beginning and an end so I can get to it. It's not like the all wheel drive build was where I had a load of unforeseen issues. Um, so I'm trying to gather as much shit together as I can and um, yeah, we'll do a video then. Um, but yeah, thanks for joining me again and uh, you know the story, like, share, subscribe and uh, I'll see you in the next one.